Sanders project that we did, it, it was a lot bigger than just the record, you know what I mean? We got a lot of artists on that project, um, artists that I look up to, artists that are already out, you know what I mean? It's not even like we're trying to break no artists, so from the artist that was involved in the project to the artwork which was done by, you know, Normski, the photography was done by Normski, to bringing in the Artful Throw, who then incorporated all of the artists that are involved in the record and individually painted them on the vinyl, do you know what I mean? Um, from Leke, Big Up Aerosol for allowing us to wear his brand for the hip hop movement, so it's all part of a bigger package, you know, to um, create that designs you know, uh, graphics and overlooks the whole thing. My boy, bad nephew, Billy, he's another person that, you know, um, understands graphic design. And between the two of them, you know what I mean? I, I, I can fully send it and have full faith that it's gonna come back looking dope, do you know what I mean? And, and nobody's too passionate about stuff. Everybody's willing to move a little bit. Everybody's willing to talk about stuff. You know what I mean? If the colors ain't right here, let's change it to this. Everything is a conversation, which in, in, in turn makes the project even more special, you know? And I think that's, that's a lot what King of the Beat stands for, making the, making the product special. In this digital age where nobody really has artwork anymore, nobody really has credits or sits down and reads the back of an album, well, you know what I mean? When it's digital, you just maybe you have the cover and then you listen to the music. You know, King of the Beats is all about the lyric book, do you know what I mean? About the individual pictures. It's about the, you know, you sitting down and learning about this record that has been made, you know, learning where it was mastered, who mastered it, who mixed it, who did cuts on this song, you know, who ripped this song, what artist is featured, do you know what I mean? It's really important that that comes across to the buyer or the person that's, that's digesting or enjoying your music. And in today's, in today's climate of music, I feel like that is totally, that's totally gone because of the digital age. Like, a lot of people don't even buy physical projects anymore, um, just for the simple fact that they can download it or they can stream it, and therefore they're not attached to knowing what the song is about, you know, knowing where it was mixed or mastered, or knowing anything that is really important. As me, as a record buyer, as a kid, that was one of the most important things about buying a record. When you sat down and you put the record on, that while you're listening to that record, you would go through all of the artwork and read everything that was in the credits, you know? And the packaging that we incorporated, you know, having a poster cover, um, definitely for the setting standards when we did the poster cover, just because it had to be a continuation. You know, it just allows people to be part of that record and to understand where it comes from and what it's about. Having, you know, the, the sleeves like this that hold the record um, as a package. So you will have, you know, the record inside that, then the book will go inside that, then you have the 45 that will also be incorporated in that, and then you have the CD, like with the Setting Standards albums, that is slightly different from the vinyl, all, in, all encapsulated in this one package. Do you know what I mean? Um, and I think that's what sets us, you know, apart from everybody else at the moment, is the packaging. The music is already dope. The music for lots of people is already dope, but that's how it is in the digital realm. We're trying to bring it back to physical copies that not just the music is dope, but the packaging is dope, the book is dope. Do you know what I mean? The way that it, the, the record looks is dope. It's all about that for King of the Reeds. Okay, so Setting Standards 2 is a continuation of the first record, but originally the, the record was always going to be a double album. Um, it, it's not like I've made the first version and then that was complete and then the second version was made after that. The whole project was made at the same time. And then when we decided to do part two, because you know, just for financial reasons, you know, we would like to have done a double album, do you know what I mean? But just in this day and time, it's difficult to do stuff like that. So we broke it into two. 
um, we were still able to utilize the norm ski pictures that were incorporated in the first one into the second one still able to use the branding do you know what I mean that incorporated from the first one to the second one so it's just a continuation and then when we thought of doing the vinyl because Vinyl is a science, let me tell you this, and we've learned this over the years of doing it. If you have more than 15 minutes on each side of a record, you're gonna lose quality. Do you know what I mean? So each record has five tracks on each side, 10 tracks on each album, that's 20 tracks. This product, this project, sorry, is a 26 record or single project do you know what i mean that is incorporated in all one so ideally between the the, the the versions one and two you have 20 songs on vinyl at the moment you know and then the other songs are incorporated either digitally or on 45s or in a way that is a bonus to the song so when it came to doing the second version of setting standards um i decided to go and get some bonus joints so you have the joint with sus bully brian you have the second joint with g bag which is bag you have the second joint with point black which is to feel so good and you have archer's joint step your game up all of those songs were recorded after the first setting standards to incorporate into the second setting standards because we already had the big cakes join um the teach join uh, there was already joints that are on the first version of the album but weren't on the vinyl they were just on the cd do you see what i'm saying so the continuation into two was to have those joints that were not on the first vinyl on the second vinyl and then incorporate some new stuff you know and then people can buy it as a whole package you know so you can buy part one and part two together or you can buy them individually but they're definitely all underneath the same umbrella they're not separate packages it all comes under the setting standards campaign one time you know <laughs>